Today is July 3rd, 2025, and you're listening to Space News First Up. Discover your next mission in the space industry with the Space News Job Exchange. Visit spacenews.com jobs to find top aerospace roles and connect with leading employers. And for employers, use discount code J-O-B-E-X for 15% off your next purchase. Here are today's top headlines in space. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency has awarded more than $70 million in contracts to commercial satellite imagery and analytics firms. Boeing has completed more O3BM power satellites with fixes to their power systems that may no longer be needed. DARPA said it canceled a nuclear thermal propulsion program because of changing technologies and requirements. British small sat maker Open Cosmos has acquired Connected, a Portuguese startup developing satellite connectivity technologies. And composite materials startup Atomic 6 won a Space Force agreement to advance its solar power array technology. First up is produced by Space News, the industry standard for professional space journalism. Visit spacenews.com for breaking news, policy updates, and original analysis. We begin today with news that the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, has awarded more than $70 million in contracts to commercial satellite imagery and analytics firms. NGA said Wednesday the awards were part of its LUNO program, a new initiative aimed at expanding the integration of artificial intelligence and commercial data into national security operations. Among the largest awards, Black Sky secured a $24.4 million LUNO A contract for facility and object monitoring. Other companies receiving awards included Maxar Intelligence, Ursa Space Systems, and Geospatial. Boeing has completed more O3BM power satellites with fixes to their power systems that may no longer be needed. The 9th and 10th satellites for the SES Next Generation Medium Earth Orbit Constellation recently left manufacturing facilities in California and will launch later this summer on a Falcon 9 from Florida. Like the 7th and 8th satellites launched in December, the latest duo carries redesigned power modules to address electrical issues that hampered the first six O3BM power spacecraft already in MEO. However, SES said earlier this year that severe solar storms last year helped clear a buildup of protons that had been triggering sporadic power module failures on the satellites. According to industry sources, the electric anomalies have not returned since the storms although there is no guarantee the issue won't recur. DARPA said it canceled a nuclear thermal propulsion program because of changing technologies and requirements. DARPA had been working with NASA on the demonstration rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations, Draco, since early 2023. But NASA revealed in its budget request in May that DARPA had canceled the program. DARPA Deputy Director Rob McHenry said on a recent webinar, that the agency concluded that decreasing launch costs reduced the efficiency gains that Draco would have provided, while a recent study found that an alternative approach, nuclear electric propulsion, might be more effective. DARPA added that infrastructure barriers for testing Draco also played a role in the cancellation decision. British small sat maker Open Cosmos has acquired Connected, a Portuguese startup developing satellite connectivity technologies. Connected raised $2 million in pre-seed funding soon after being founded in 2023 with plans to use spare space on third-party satellites for a network connecting remote, off-the-grid Internet of Things, IoT, devices using 5G technologies. Connected was working on a new round when Open Cosmos approached them about an acquisition. Connected will now be Open Cosmos's dedicated IoT connectivity unit, strengthening the British manufacturer's capabilities alongside its Earth observation and data services. Composite Materials Startup Atomic 6 won a Space Force agreement to advance its solar power array technology. The company said Wednesday it won a $2 million tactical funding increase agreement to allow it to test and qualify its Lightwing solar array designed for energy-intensive operations in orbit. Of interest to the military is the solar array's stow and redeploy design, which would allow satellites conducting close proximity operations near other spacecraft to stow its arrays to reduce collision risk, then redeploy them once in a safer orbit. Share your company's news with the entire space industry through Stellar Dispatch, the press release service from Space News. 
Learn more and use discount code SD2106 for 15% off when you submit yours at spacenews.com slash stellar dispatch. In other news, Latitude is expanding its ability to produce a small launch vehicle. The French startup said Wednesday it reached a deal to convert a former AstraZeneca facility in the city of Reims into a factory for building its Zephyr rocket. Once fully built out, the new facility will be able to produce up to 50 rockets a year. Latitude is planning a first launch of Zephyr from French Guiana as soon as the third quarter of 2026 and recently announced several contracts and agreements with European customers. The first launch of an Australian rocket has slipped again. Gilmore Space said Wednesday that the first launch of its Eris rocket from a site in Queensland, previously planned for this week, has been pushed back to no earlier than July 16th. The company didn't give a reason for the delay, but said earlier this week it was watching weather conditions. The launch of Eris, a small launch vehicle, has suffered months of delays, including from an incident in May when a power surge triggered the rocket's payload fairing separation system while on the launch pad. ExoLaunch has signed an agreement with Orbex to use that company's small launch vehicle. ExoLaunch, which arranges for launches of small satellites on a variety of vehicles, said this week it signed a five-year agreement with Orbex to use that company's Prime launch vehicle and its future Proxima medium-class launcher. Prime has also suffered a series of delays, and Orbex said its first launch is now expected no earlier than next year. The New York Times reports that astronomers have discovered an interstellar object passing through our solar system. The object, designated 3I-ATLAS, was discovered this week by the NASA-funded Atlas Telescope System in Hawaii. The object is on a hyperbolic trajectory passing through the solar system and may be a comet from another solar system. The object is only the third from outside our solar system found to date, and first since 2019. Major League Baseball reports that the Colorado Rockies hope to get a boost from York Space Systems. The Denver-based satellite manufacturer has signed a deal with the Major League Baseball team, becoming the Jersey Patch sponsor. A patch with the York logo will be on the sleeves of Rockies jerseys under the deal, which runs through 2030. York will be the exclusive aerospace partner of the Rockies with other sponsorship opportunities. York is the first space company to enter into a jersey sponsorship deal with any major professional sports team. The Rockies can use any help they can get. The team is currently on a pace for about 125 losses this season, a league record. <laughs>